So why does uh, if let look uh, look so weird when you when you uh, look at it for the first time? And uh, I just want to compare to uh, what an if let statement is compared to what you might imagine it should be uh, and is not. So this is uh, not correct. Um, but so uh, you know if let some number. So you uh, like I said the first uh, hint is to kind of read it backwards. So if my vec get index gives you some number and you might imagine uh, you might want to write something like this if blah 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 get and then put your uh, your standard you know comparison for equality double uh, equals equals some number and that is not the way to do it so let's delete that so we don't uh, learn bad habits but there is a reason and the reason is that let in rust is actually kind of like a a match statement. So when you write uh, let x equals y, you are actually uh, comparing these two to, to match and see if uh, if they work. And I'll show you the um, if you go into the documentation here, you can see let statements. They work like this. So you have uh, let and you have a pattern, and then here you can say the type, but we don't need to tell the type, and then equals an expression. And this is the assignment equals, not the double equal. And so when we, uh, let's copy this over. So when we write something very simple, like let x equals 9, we are saying let x, uh, so x is a pattern. And so um, it's like a, uh, you know, the same, same uh, thing over here, this, uh, this sum number is a pattern. And then we, uh, you know, we're trying to uh, assign it with uh, with equal and then there's an expression and the expression is over here my vec dot get index because it uh, it returns a uh, you know a sum or a none it returns an option and here this is also uh, this is also an expression just nine is a uh, is an expression and so this is saying uh, you know is a uh, Will this uh, will this match work? Can we take this nine and assign it to an x? And uh, the answer is you know it's yes because it's uh, it's no problem. It's uh, it's what's called uh, an irrefutable pattern over here. So irrefutable pattern means a pattern that always works, and that's why that's why you don't. Uh, you don't notice in the beginning that they're kind of uh, you're matching patterns because it'll always work. Uh, there's never going to be a problem with uh, with giving this uh, this uh, letter X uh, the the value of nine. And so and so over here as well, we are we are doing the same thing. This is actually a um, it's saying if let is going to work. So uh, you have let and we have a pattern here. Uh, some number, let's take this out, equals expression. And then you have the, uh, you have a semicolon or you have the, uh, you know, the the code block here. And uh, so it's it's exactly the same as, uh, as, as this let here, except we have an if in front of it because uh, it might not work. It might be a sum or it might be a none. And so that's the only difference between this uh, and a let x equals 9. So pattern, let pattern equals expression. And that is why, that is why you write if let. And uh, so that was interesting. And by the way, um, you know, in Rust you have uh, if x something else, you know, false, something like that. And uh, at the same time, in these loops, you have a while. And so that might make you think, is there a while let? And yes, there is a while let.